everyone and welcome to episode 3 of Make Thrift Buy, a show where you guys send me clothes that you found online and I try and recreate them. Today's challenge was suggested by Victoria Valenzuela and is of this awesome pin-up girl clothing sailor dress, which retails for $132. Now I was lucky enough to find this dress at the thrift store the other day, which I thought could be used for this project, so I thought I'd give this one a go. The first thing I did was to make a cutout on the front of the dress, just like the one in the picture. I drew the cutout on with chalk and then I hacked away at this with some scissors. Then I folded all the raw edges back inside the dress about half an inch and I stuck some pins in to hold it all in place. I then very carefully sewed around the cutout really close to the edges using a straight stitch but pulling the fabric slightly as I went because the dress material was slightly stretchy and I didn't want the stitches to snap. And I ended up with a pretty nice looking cutout. Now there is a distinct lack of anchors on my dress for this, I decided I would make a stencil so that all my anchor shapes would be the same size. And I totally forgot what anchors looked like. Thank you, Google Images. First, I drew an anchor onto some cardboard and then attempted to cut it out precisely, which is actually a lot harder than you would think. A good 20 minutes later, and I had a real dodgy looking stencil, but it let me trace the basic shape of an anchor, so I figured it would be good enough. Then I went to the craft store to get some fabric paint, but the guy at the craft store actually reckoned that this Posca pen would work fine on fabric. I was a bit dubious that it would show up well on black fabric, but I also thought that using a pen rather than paint would be easier, so I trusted him, and I went for it. And to my amazement, it worked! So I did one, and then I just repeated this all over my dress. So, five hours and hundreds of anchors later, and the shape of an anchor is basically etched into my brain. I'm not going to be forgetting what an anchor looks like anytime soon. So apparently to set the marker into your fabric, you iron it at a high temperature without steam on the reverse side of the fabric. So I did that. Now, because I have terrible foresight, I drew my hundreds of anchors before testing that they would actually stay on the fabric when washed. Yeah, but to test whether this pen actually works on fabric, I popped the dress into my washing machine. I'm really not happy about this. Okay. Yep, and heaps of them faded. Like, heaps are basically gone. Yeah. Okay, so it's actually not that bad. As the dress dried, a lot of them became a lot clearer to see, and most stayed on pretty well. So I just went back over the faded ones with the Posca pen again, and I made a mental note to myself to only ever gently hand wash the dress in the future. So back on track, my dress had a black tie on the front, whereas the one from Pinup Girl Clothing has a white tie. So I simply snipped off the black ties. Then I used these pieces to make a stencil for two white tie pieces. I added a seam allowance and also made them a little bit longer. I cut out four of these and pinned them together two at a time and sewed using a straight stitch all the way around the edges, leaving the bottom edge open so I could turn them the right way around. Then I attached these to the front of the dress and sewed them on. So the real question is, how did I go? So in conclusion, if you're lucky enough to find this style of dress at a thrift store, then this is something you can really easily make. So the version by Pinup Girl Clothing, $132. My version, $8. Now I do have to say that the one on pinup girl clothing is probably quite a bit nicer with a full skirt and inbuilt pockets. Plus my one is black, theirs is navy, but I think for $8 this is a pretty decent replica. So let me know what you think and keep those suggestions coming. And I'll see you all next time.